Hello, this is Inequalities and Modulus, Lesson 2.1. In this, I will discuss the basics of modulus with question. Uh, in this, I will discuss the conceptual basics of mode. When I say mode x, we know that its value is always positive. Mode x is equals to its value is equals to x when x is greater than equals to zero, and its value is minus x when x is less than zero. Why minus x? Because when x is negative, when x is negative, negative into negative will become positive. So overall, the value of mode will remain always positive. And the graph of mode will be like this. This is your reason. If you put uh, x1, y will be 1. I'm making the graph of y is equals to mode x. If you put x1, you will get y1. 1, 1, 1 point will be there. If you put x2, you will get y as also 2. Same way, it will be like this on this side. If you put x is equals to minus 1, still the value of y will be 1. If you put x is equals to minus 2, still the y value of y will be equals to 2. That's how the graph of mode x will be there. Ultimately, the value of mode x will remain always positive. How to open mode x minus a? Again, as similar as mode. So this is equals to x minus a whenever x minus a is greater than equals to 0 and its value is minus of x minus a whenever x minus a is less than 0. Very similar to mode. So now we have two concepts. One is the this one. This one is the first concept mode of x minus a. How to open this? Another we know that distance of x. Uh, distance of any point x on the number line from a so we have two concepts for mode for example i am solving this x minus 2 is equals to let's say 4 now i can solve this question in now two ways one of the concept i know that mode concept this is the number line concept so first concept we have a number line concept number line concept that we did in the previous lesson what that concept shows that distance of any point x from 2 is 4. This is 0 on the number line. This is 2 on the number line. Now from 2 the distance is 4. From 2 the 4 distance will lie at the when x is equal to 6. Or here when x is equal to minus 2. Whenever x is equal to minus 2 this point will be 4 distance from 2. And same way x is equal to 6 will also 4 distance from 2. So x could be x we got two values x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 6. This is a number line method we discussed in the previous lesson. Now here the conceptual method how to open this mode in a conceptual method. Now we know that apply this this formula mode of x minus a. So can I say mode of x minus 2 this is equal to 4. So value of mode would be how much? We know that mode of x minus 2 we can open like this. This is equals to x minus 2 whenever x minus 2 is greater than equals to 0. Its value is minus of x minus 2 whenever x minus 2 is less than 0. Now what it means that x minus 2 greater than 0? It simply means that x must be greater than equals to 2. And what it means? It means that x must be less than so it means that now mode will have two values so I will open this can I say this will be open like this it will be equals to x minus 2 equals to 4 I am putting mode value as x minus 2 or it will be equals to minus of x minus 2 equals to 4 remember the condition condition is that mode value is only x minus 2 when x is greater than equals to 2 this should not contradict and here x should be less than 2 this should not contradict now put calculate can i say x minus 2 is 4 x would be equals to 6 which is greater than equals to 2 there is no contradiction in this case whereas x less than 2 you can get minus of x minus 4 is minus, minus of x minus 2 is 4 so we will get x minus 2 is equals to minus 4 x is equals to minus 4 plus 2 that is equals to minus 2. So you got x is equals to minus 2 
and which is less than 2 so your there is no contradiction again we got two values of x as 6 and minus 2 so very important now you have two method to solve mode question whichever to apply in which question that depends on the question sometime we have to use the conceptual method and sometime we have to use the number line method answer will be same from both the methods now our first question is mode of 2x minus 5 is less than equals to 7 now this this question i can solve in two way number line method or conceptual method uh, let's see first one, number line method 2x minus 5 is less than equals to 7 can i divide this by 2 you will get x minus 5 by 2 divide entire equation by 2 no change of the sign will happen this is equals to 7 by 2 can I say this x minus 2.5 this is 2.5 should be less than equals to 7 by 2 is 3.5 what it means we got the concept like this x minus a less than equals to b we know that what it means it means that distance of x from a on the number line is less than equals to b so distance of any point x on the number line from 2.5 this is 0 this is 2.5 distance of any point x on the number line from this 2.5 is less than equals to 3.5 so from from 2.5 3.5 distance will be at when x is equals to 6 and here on this side when x is equals to minus 1 whenever x is equals to minus 1 or x is equals to 6 both are at a distance of 3.5 from 2.5 on the number line so can i say that my x would be how much between minus 1 and 6 any point between minus 1 and 6 including these two points will be at a distance 3.4 3.5 or less from this 2.5 so our answer should be x belongs to minus 1 to 6 both included so that is the range this will be the number line method now again we can solve this question by conceptual method we know that mode of 2x minus 5 this will be equals to this will be equals to 2x minus 5 as it is whenever 2x minus 5 is greater than equals to 0 this value is minus of 2x minus 5 whenever 2x minus 5 is less than 0 now apply this one uh, once i am solving what is this 2x minus 5 greater than 0 can I say solving this you will get x must be greater than 5 by 2 greater than equals to 5 by 2 here x must be uh, less than 5 by 2 the very important to remember the condition so it will be 2x minus 5 I am just opening solving the question 2x minus 5 was less than equals to 7 that was our question now first I will put the value of mode as 2x minus 5 less than equal to 7 here the condition is that x must be greater than equals to 5 by 2 if this will contradict and uh, with our answer then it means we are doing something wrong can i say that and this value will be minus of 2x minus 5 mode value will be minus of 2x minus 5 less than equals to 7 whenever x is less than 5 by 2 now can i say you check you should check that 2x add 5 both side 2x will be less than 12 can I say x must be less than equals to 6 x must be less than equals to 6 and x must be greater than equals to 5 by 2 here 2x minus 5 multiply by minus 1 multiply by minus 1 the sign of inequality will change this will be greater than equals to minus 7 add 5 both side 2x must be greater than equals to minus 2 x must be greater than equals to minus 1 okay x must be here what we got x must be greater than equals to 5 by 2 less than so here i range got x belongs to greater than equals to 5 by 2 but less than equals to 6 here i got x belongs to greater than equals to minus 1 and less than equals to 5 by combining this what you will get if you combine this again you will get the same answer x belongs to minus 1 
to 6 5 by 2 it will be uh, submerged in this so x belongs to minus 1 to 6 because minus 1 to 5 by 2 5 by 2 to 6 simply means that minus 1 to 6 so this kind of question you can solve in two ways either by uh, number line method or by conceptual method you must know both the method because both the methods are equally relevant next question is x square modulus minus 7 mod of x plus 12 equals to 0 now first concept mod of x square is same as x square because what mod does mod uh, make the any value positive now we know that x square is always positive so mod of x square modulus is same as x square minus 7 of mod x plus 12 equals to 0 now here you can't use the number line method because we need to find the range of x because number line method we you can use when the data is in the form x minus a equals to greater than or less than equals to b then we can use the number line method here i can't use the number line method so i have to apply the conceptual method now mod x value will be equals to this will be equals to x whenever x is greater than equals to 0 its value will be minus x whenever x is less than 0 so i will apply i will put mod x once x and once minus x so one equation will be x square minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 here i am keeping putting mod x is equals to x it means that i am assuming that x must be greater than equals to 0 so solving this equation you can make the factor i hope you know that uh, the factors would come x is equals to 3 and 4 by factorization or by applying the formula factors will be 3 and 4 so x would be 3 and 4 if you apply if you put mod x is equals to minus x and here the condition that x would be less than 0 so equation will become x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 because already minus was there if you put mod x is equals to minus x you will get plus 7x again by factorization or by formula method you get x is equals to minus 3 and minus 4 again there is no contradiction we assume that x is less than 0 yes this is less than 0 we assume that x is greater than 0 yes this is greater than 0, greater than 0. so 4 values of x will be there that is 3 4 minus 3 and minus 4 so 4 solutions are there for this equation now next question is uh, mod of x square plus 7 of mod x plus 12 equals to 0. Now how many solutions we have? A normally student who used to cram the things, a normal student who used to cram the things uh, will get this question wrong. What the student used to cram, cram in the for modulus question, student used to cram mod x is always equals to plus minus x mod x is always equals to plus minus x they don't understand the condition they don't understand the concept again uh, if you apply first of all it will be x square plus 7 of mod x plus 12 because as i explained in the previous slide mod of x square or x square is same thing now student who used to cram the things as mod x is equal to plus minus x again they will get two equation one is one is x x square plus 7 x plus 12 equals to zero and second is x square minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 and they will calculate root as minus 3 minus 4 and plus 3 plus 4 but this is absolutely wrong this is not the right way that is the danger of cramming that's why i told you in so many lessons that never ever cram the things try to understand the concepts first of all our equation was x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 now by simple logic this how many values of x will be there there will be no value of x which satisfies this equation because this is a positive number mode of x square is always positive mode of x is always positive in the very first slide i told you told you that mode value is always positive output will always be positive so 7 into positive this will be positive and this is also positive the sum of three numbers can never be equal to 0 sum of three numbers can never be equal to zero so this 
data is inconsistent this data is inconsistent there will be no no values of x otherwise you can conceptually prove this how we can conceptually prove this can i say uh, our x square plus 7 of mod x plus 12 equals equals to 0 now you know that mod x value is equals to x whenever x is greater than equals to 0 its value is minus x when x is less than 0 now student will say that i just said that mod value can't be negative it's not negative it's x which is negative x is negative outside is negative ultimately the mode value is always positive this is always positive because x is negative if you if you multiply by negative into negative it will become positive so finally the value of x is mode x is always positive now conceptually uh, it will be open in two ways i will put mode x is equals to x whenever x is greater than equals to zero so what the equation will become x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to 0. Again solving this you will get x is equals to minus 3 minus 4. But there is a contradiction. Very important there is a contradiction we can see that mode x is equals to x when x is greater than 0. I My condition was that x must be greater than equals to 0. But we are getting minus 3 minus 4 this contradict and that won't be the exact solution. Same way if you put mode x is equals to minus x it is only minus x when x is negative x is less than 0 so put mode values at minus x you will get x square minus 7x plus 12 equals to 0 again you get x value as 3 and 4 but again this contradict the condition we put mode x is equals to minus x when x was less than 0 now you are getting the positive value how it is possible that x is equals to 3 and 4 when x is less than 0 this is again contradiction is there so there will be no solution so very important to understand the concept either the number line concept or the conceptual method to solve the mode question no need to cram so that was all about lesson 2.1 in the next lesson i will continue with more on this inequalities and modulus thank you